So I haven't been keeping up with the latest Joe Rogan podcast episodes, but thanks to Sigmund, they commented the exact timestamp where Joe Rogan and Brian Redman start talking about Bobby Lee, Kalila, the whole breakup, and mention how Bobby Lee is doing way better, is way happier now that he is alone. The whole thing is pretty wild, and I'm sure Kalila is going to be fuming when she hears what Joe Rogan had to say about her, because that was not all of it. We also have a bonus clip of Joe Rogan embarrassing himself on that same podcast that actually made it to the mainstream YouTube uh, uh, news. So with that being said, let's get started. What did Bobby Lee, they gave him a puke bucket? <laughs> like he got very angry about what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Did, did Bobby do the show, Jerry? No, he hasn't been oh. on ever. He, uh, really? Yeah. He was. He hasn't uh, been on in the past. Yeah, yeah he was on way, way, way back like in the day. Four or five or something. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. right. He hasn't been on since, but I would one hundred percent have him on. Yeah, he was. Just, he was in town the other day to do that your mom's house, and he came to the secret show, and he did a spot and hung out with him. I haven't hung out with him in so long. He seems so happy now, so it's really cool to yeah. see a happy Bobby. He's, First thing I wanted to point out was Brian and Joe Rogan talking about Bobby Lee being on the podcast because I've said it before that Bobby Lee has never been on the Joe Rogan experience and a lot of people disagree with me. And I get it because technically, yes, Bobby Lee was one time way back in the day on the Joe Rogan experience. I think it was episode four or five, which they addressed in a little bit. But if you think about it, that was so long ago and probably so insignificant that even Joe Rogan himself wasn't even sure if Bobby Lee had been on the podcast and he said that he didn't think he was. That takes us back to square one because in my opinion, it doesn't count. It was so long ago. It was close to when the whole Carlos Mencia thing happened. So I don't think that appearance was uh, the greatest. And in my opinion, it doesn't count. But enough of that now because now this is where things start to get very interesting. He's a, a lot more free. I'm very mm -hmm. happy for him. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, he's, you know, He's a great person. He really is a sweetheart of a guy. If you don't like Bobby Lee, man, I think that's on you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how you can not love that guy. Yeah. He's and he's f***ing hilarious. His stand up is f***ing hilarious. I've been busting his balls for years trying to get him to do a special. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you go see <clears throat> excuse me, if you go see him live, you will not be disappointed. He's very f funny. He's the funniest guy that doesn't have a special for sure. Mm -hmm. Like no one's even close. He's a murderer. He would go to the comedy store in the fucking OR and just destroy. Destroy. Bobby destroys. Mm -hmm. And he's fucking he performs. He's so good. He's so enthusiastic. You know, hopefully he'll put together a special, but if he doesn't, go see him live. It's fucking great. Yep. And he's just a good dude. I'm happy to see him happy. Like I mentioned, I don't think she's going to be happy when she hears what Joe Rogan had to say because Joe Rogan essentially went on a on a rant about how amazing Bobby Lee was, how funny he was, how good of a person he was, and that everybody should go see him live. Basically, he gave him the nicest and most charitable shout out a comic could ever ask for from Joe Rogan. And then when he talked about Bobby Lee's breakup, instead of giving Kalila a shout out, he said this. Yeah, me too. And I bet his DMs are filled with bomb digging. Hell yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of girls want to Take, take up where Kalila left off. <laughs> Let me show you some next level. You know? Yeah. But now they also realize they can get famous if they're Bobby Lee's girlfriend. There's probably a lot of those girls. It's so gotta, dangerous nowadays. So it's got to duck them. It's gotta, you got to know which one's a sociopath, yeah. which one's pretending they like you, and which one just really likes funny guys. Mm -hmm. You know who's f***ing hilarious? Stavos. A few things to unpack here. The reason why I keep saying that Kalila is going to be mad whenever she hears that is because if you remember that Tiger Belly episode with Brendan Schaub, she showed that she really, really cared about what Joe Rogan thought of her. It was very clear that she only cared what Joe Rogan had to think about her and not what everybody else thought, including her fans, clearly. So Joe Rogan saying that Bobby Lee now seems happy, now seems free, it's Essentially what everybody else has been saying all along, that now that he has broken up with Kalila, there is a clear night and day difference, not only in his performance, but his lifestyle. So clearly there's a possibility that Joe Rogan believes that maybe Kalila was holding Bobby Lee back, and uh, if he doesn't believe that, what he does believe is that Kalila can be easily replaced by someone way better that, uh, for Bobby Lee. And this is where Kalila was gadouched, because... Joe Rogan saying that Bobby Lee could easily find somebody better that could just pick up where Kalila left and take it to the next level is 
insane. It's a, it's a wild thing to say. And the reason why it's so wild is because it's true. We've been saying this for a while, but a lot of people give credit, a lot of credit to Kalila for helping Bobby Lee build Tiger Belly, essentially. Okay, but now imagine if Bobby Lee actually had a partner that was talented and could actually make people laugh. Think about it. Tiger Belly would be in a complete different ball game at this point. Would love that. Would love nothing more. When you did tell version uh, Rogan your version of events, mm -hmm. I just want to know, for my own peace of mind, did he believe it? I don't know. He, he to, to him, it's like you know, you're never gonna beat the internet, man. I mean, no, regarding me and Bobby. No, because I, I I told him it's not you guys. Okay, but everything else regarding. The information that got back to me is that you told Rogan things, obviously, that were very slanderous about me. I'm going to, I want to believe that wasn't the case. Joe Rogan also mentioned how Bobby Lee's DMs must be full with beautiful women or whatever. And the fact that he has to watch out for the, the new girls that want to come in because they know that they can get famous for being Bobby Lee's girlfriend. And I might be reaching on this one, but I think that's a diss to Kalila. Maybe not intentionally, but unintentionally it is instead of saying something like hey if you're bobby lee's girlfriend you can build a business become financially successful yada yada no he just said you can become famous because you're his girlfriend clearly that is what he probably thinks about kalila not that she's a talented human being that helped him and and has coached him and whatever but instead just bobby lee's girlfriend i think we can all agree that kalila was caring about what joe rogan would think of her because she obviously wanted a spot on the Joe Rogan experience, either with the Trash Tuesday uh, friends or with uh, Bobby Lee um, as Tiger Belly. But I don't think that's going to be a situation in the future or in the near future. I don't think she will ever be on the Joe Rogan experience. I highly doubt it, but there's a possibility. What do you think about that? All right, so now let's talk about the bonus clip that I mentioned. So this one I thought was pretty funny because essentially... Joe Rogan was tricked into thinking that YouTuber Dad and YouTuber Matt um, were actually dad, father, and son fighting each other, knocking each other out. I saw a video today of a boxing match between a father and a son. 100%. Maybe he could be 19. He looks young. He's real skinny. And the father's kind of jacked. Not too jacked, but, you know, he's fit. And he could fucking punch. He knows how to box. And the son doesn't look like he has any idea what the fuck he's doing. I don't know what the thing was. Like, someone sent it to me. And they were, like, cheering that this old guy knocked his son out. I was like, you guys are crazy. That You failed. You failed as a man. This? Yeah, this is this, it. That's, that's oh not exactly gosh. what was happening. It's not? What is it? They're not father-son. Oh, why does it lie? Because it says father the, knocks out son yeah, at celebrity boxing match. Yeah, get somebody to click on this. Oh. These were, this is like a YouTuber thing. This guy's a YouTuber and he's a YouTuber. Uh, I'm such a sucker. And it's obviously not the case. This was the Creator Clash event hosted by iDubs where a bunch of YouTubers fought each other. And, and some of those YouTubers was that Matt and Dad character. So somebody clipped that fight made a title that said you know dad beats up son whatever joe rogan bought it and he was getting into it on the podcast and the funny thing is he got so emotionally invested in it you know he actually got sad thinking about how the dad was punching the son and, and i mean what can we say about that i mean we've talked about how joe rogan doesn't get any jokes and he takes things way too serious or literal and i mean this is this just takes it to a whole nother level at the very least, he was able to recognize that he was wrong. And that's a cool thing about Joe Rogan, that he still has Jamie to, to uh, correct him some, most of the times. But yeah, in my opinion, I think that everybody that is close to Joe Rogan, even if they're close friends, they're just, they just become yes men. Because you don't want to be, in my opinion, I don't think nobody there wants to be the one that calls out Joe Rogan and shows him, shows him how dumb he was. So I think they just let him... Let him have it until he eventually crashes and burns like he did on his own podcast. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps out a ton. We're close to 20,000. Um, dislike if you don't like the video. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Um, Happy New Year's. That's all we have for today.